The mod I'm going to introduce to you today is a magical item mod that is good for mages to wear. I gathered mods that mage players will definitely like, so please watch until the end. The first mod to introduce is the Floating Dragon Priest Masks. The Floating Dragon Priest Masks mod, as the title suggests, lets you recreate Dragon Priest Masks in floating form. As you travel through Skyrim, you may encounter a named Dragon Priest. When you defeat the Dragon Priest and get his mask, take it to the forge. You can make the mask into a floating item. It can be crafted by adding a few alchemy ingredients, including a mask, from which you can craft a floating Dragon Priest mask. The vanilla Dragon Priest mask covers all of your character's face. It is true that I was reluctant to wear the Dragon Priest mask despite its amazing performance. However, the floating Dragon Priest mask does not cover the character's face as it is a form that floats outside. And because it is a floating form, it can express the feeling of a mage more. So it is a great mod with two advantages of upgrading the feeling of a mage while taking the function of the mask as it is. The Dwemer Fairies mod adds a total of 9 different colors of Dwemer Fairies to Skyrim. Dwemer Fairies are individually colored orbs, but have wings made of Dwemer material. Dwemer Fairies are in the form of wearable items, but when worn, Dwemer Fairies fly around the character in real time. There are also lighting effects for each color. When you are with Dwemer Fairies, you will shine according to the colors of the Dwemer Fairies around you. Indeed, it is a mod with excellent wing design, and a mod that can further upgrade the fantasy elements of Skyrim. Dwemer Fairies can be crafted at a forge, which can be a bit tricky to craft as they require a variety of Dwemer-related materials. You may need to explore the Dwemer ruins to get these ingredients. It has some magical elements, but it's not a mod that only mages should use, and it's a nice mod for players of other classes as well. This mod adds spell books, scrolls and wands that can be worn as accessories on the hand or back for the player's enjoyment. Also included as a scripted version that switches between hands and hips when in combat or not. In fact, you'll loot tons of spell books, scrolls, and wands as you travel through Skyrim. However, even if you acquire these items, nothing was revealed in your character's appearance. This is not immersive, especially for players seeking mage. Now, express your acquired magical items in a unique way through the wearable spellbook scrolls and staves mod. Furthermore, if you use a spell while wearing it in battle, you can cast spells while holding a staff and a book or scroll in your hand. I think this is a part that mage players should pay attention to because it meets the elements of fantasy magic, which is similar to reading books and scrolls and casting spells. Now it's time to express a magical item to your character's equipment, which was just monotonous. To get the items, use add it to menu or search a sack container in the midden under the College of Winterhold. This mod is similar to the wearable spellbook scrolls and staves mod I just introduced. As a mod made by the same creator, the wearable black book mod allows actors to wear the black book that appears in Dragonborn DLC. Like the wearable spellbook scrolls and staves mod, it can be held in the left hand or worn on the hip. When worn on the left hand or equipped with a script item, the spell can be cast while holding the black book in the left hand when the character casts a spell. To obtain this black book, use the add it to menu mod or get the item via console commands or find a satchel upstairs in the abandoned building in Raven Rock. The mod requires Dragonborn DLC.
This mod adds a wisp orb that follows you around. These wisp orbs will follow you wherever you go. Hopping around you full of energy. If they see you're in combat and they're close by, they'll give your enemies a little chill. You can pick them up and throw them around. They don't like to be put away though. If you grab one and put it away, it'll just fall apart in your bag. All you need is the recipe, some ice wraith essence, some glow dust, and an alchemy table. You need to have the materials and the recipe in your inventory. Alchemists and general goods sellers should have a recipe, but you might have to shop around. Floating Torch Spells mod adds Floating Torch to Skyrim. The Floating Torch can be summoned using spells or by wearing a ring. If you use the magic once more after summoning the Floating Torch through magic, the Floating Torch will disappear. You can summon a torch that floats around your character, and you can also summon a torch that floats around other NPCs. If you've been wanting to use a torch, but mages find it a bit awkward to hold a torch in their hands, try the Floating Torch spell. Since you use a vanilla torch and use it in a floating form at the same time, the magicalness will increase even more. The way it floats and moves is also very natural. The torch will float around your character in smooth motion and illuminate your surroundings. Floating Spell Tomes adds floating spell tomes around your character. When summoned, it is an independent actor and will assist the player in battle. When worn, it can be a little awkward because the item is fixed rather than moving on its own. However, if you are a player who wants a magical element, it won't be bad if you try it once. Books can be summoned through summoning magic or by wearing them. Items for this mod can be obtained from Birna's Oddments in Winterhold. Above, we learned about the item mod that upgrades magical elements. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. Subscriptions and like notification settings are very helpful for channel growth. Then see you next time.